All right, so let's talk about learning C++. Here are my top three tips that will speed up the process. Now, if you've been having trouble learning C++ and it's your first language, do not despair. C++ is a bit of a challenge because uh, there's a lot of detail in C++ that you have to manage, which you don't have to manage in other languages. But anyway, let me just drop into my top three tips and hopefully it will help you out. First of all, I'm just going to give you a quick summary and then I'll go into detail. So number one tip is write code as quickly as possible. I'll fill that in in a few minutes. Uh, number two, tip number two, spend about 20 minutes a day writing code. That's your minimum. You say, I'm going to do 20 minutes a day, five days a week of writing code. And uh, the final tip, it might be wiser to learn a simpler language like a Python or a JavaScript before you get into C++. Why? Well, I'll get into that once I get into the main section of this video. So let's jump to writing code. I'm going to go back way back in time, decades ago, when I was first learning how to code, and I made a mistake that I think a lot of people make. I thought before I would write code, I would try to grasp the concepts of programming, and then once the concepts were understood, I would jump into writing code. That was the worst mistake I could possibly make. The fact of the matter is you want to get to writing code day one. Why? Because when you write code, it will speed the process of you understanding the concepts. It's a strange thing, I know, but writing code, even blind, meaning writing code when you're not exactly sure what the code means, will speed up the whole process of you understanding what the code means. So don't make the mistake I made where I spent uh, quite a bit of time reading books, write, taking notes, writing down concepts and trying to understand the concepts where when I finally sat down to write code, I didn't really know anything. Where it, whereas if you do the opposite and you sit down and you start writing code right away, even when you don't know what the code means at this point, you'll, you'll see that the sp speed at which you understand the concepts will, will be greatly increased. Trust me, I've been teaching people for a long time. I've been working with schools for over a decade, teaching code to uh, countless numbers of students. This works all the time. So first tip is you want to write code right away. So in C++, just start with something basic. Create a variable, create a method, create a function, operate on that function or variable, get it to work, then break it, then try something a little bit more, you know, uh, two variables and use them in a function and see how it works. Compile, you know, write the code, compile the code, see, see how it works. If you hit errors, that's cool. Coding is an error prone process. So yeah, write code. The quicker you write code, the quicker you're going to comprehend the concepts behind the code. So write code. Tip number two, 20 minutes a day. Now, why 20 minutes? 20 minutes is a psychological hurdle that's really easy to get over. Meaning, if I said to you, you gotta do three hours a day and you come home from school or you come home from work, whatever, and you sit down and you're like, oh, I gotta do three hours now. It's very, 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 um, from a lot of people anyway, this is a barrier. Like, oh, I don't wanna sit down for three hours. So it really uh, goes against uh, you if you have these big, huge time slots that you allocate to learning the code. On the flip side, if you spend just 20 minutes a day where you say, listen, I just gotta do 20 minutes every day for five days a week because you got to give yourself some time off. So you maybe code Monday, Tuesday, take Wednesday off, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, that kind of thing. If you do the 20 minute day, what happens is that even on the days that you're tired, 20 minutes is not a major commitment. So psychologically, emotionally, it's far more likely you're going to follow through on that 20 minutes. So that's the first reason you want to set it to 20 minutes a day. The second reason is that when you do finally sit down to write that 20 minutes, oftentimes it will become 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and so on. So the 20 minute rule and the 20 minute plan will often lead to more time. This is very important because at the end of the day, the frequency of exposure to the code is far more important than how many hours you spend in it. So you're better five days a week to do just 20 minutes, 30 minutes a day than to spend one day a week doing four or five hours. It's just, it's just a way that our brains work. 
our brain's response to uh, continuous exposure frequency will make our brains want to devote more energy into learning this new stuff. So if you want to learn C++ quickly, expose yourself to C++ code, writing code daily. The final tip is learn a simpler language like a Python, for example. Why would that make any sense? Well, once you get into programming, what you're going to learn is all the modern languages, well, most of them, they're all very, very similar. So if you learn Python or JavaScript or Java or C Sharp or PHP, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you will find that many of the principles in these other languages are found in C++. But there's... They're expressed in a simpler way. So, for example, C++ has functions and methods. So does Python. So does JavaScript. So does PHP. So does Java, C Sharp, etc. Once you understand what a function is, what it does, and how it basically works, you pretty much understand how functions work in C++. There are differences. Don't get me wrong. C++, uh, because of the nature of the language, it requires that you get into a lot more detail than you would have to handle with uh, Python, for example, or with JavaScript. And though all that detail can really trip people up, whereas with a simpler language like a Python or a JavaScript, you don't have to handle a lot of these details, so it becomes a lot easier to learn. So then you, so as, as an example, when you learn variable declaration, data types, and functions and methods in Python, for you to translate that understanding and those skills into C++ will be very, very easy. In fact, it will be instant. And then with C++, you've got a few more things you've got to contend with when you're creating variables, when you're creating functions and methods. But to add on to that base of what a function is and what a variable, what variables are, it becomes much easier. So there you go. Those are, those are my top three tips to learning C++ effectively. Number one, write code. Don't get caught up in trying to become a theoretical master. The theory and the conceptual understanding of C++ and programming in general will come from writing the code more than anything else. Try to do 20 minutes a day. Discipline yourself 20 minutes a day, five days a week. Uh, again, frequency of exposure is more important than anything else. And uh, number three, Learn a simple language on the side. So if you're in school, you're learning C++, take a quick Python tutorial. Trust me, it's going to speed up the process in which you learn to write C++. There you go. I hope this is useful. Bye-bye.